Oh, I hope you're a fantastic day and welcome to Do Not Take This Cat Home. A visual novel. I'll read the game store page. It's your day off, but the weather is really bringing you down, among other things. But you're drawn to the distant sound of something calling out to you. You follow it to a dark, lonely alley, and at the box of the alley in a cardboard box is a cat. A very cute cat. And what will you do? Who knows? This game has, apparently, 32,000 words, and has two, two to three plus hours of gameplay. Vroom. 39 unique endings and one true ending, so like 39 unique endings, and to a total of 40 goddamn endings. Surreal atmosphere, animations, mini games, and more. But the game is not suitable for children or those easily disturbed. I'll give it a game of a try, and uh, people like cats, so maybe it'll go up everyone's alley. I don't know. Also, for those that want to find an interesting community, you should check out my pinned comment and check out my Discord server, where I'm active in. And it's a friendly community. A little chaotic, a little friendly. I'm active in. You, you can have Nico say good morning to you when you wake up sometimes. That happens. But let's get into the game. I'm curious on the quality. You're not having a great day, as usual. Oh, great. Also, middle mouse button seems to do the same as usual. Uh, of removing this. We'll see. I I'm hoping we get a nice, cute picture of the cat. Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical, but maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. Right? You turned to head home when... Meow. Huh, what was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Ex humans really make that noise. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently. It sounds like important information that's going to be handled very casually. Well, that and the weather. Of course, the weather. And the weather. You know, there's people that get just missing people, just murdered people. They're just disappearing all the time. Oh, yeah, and the, we and the weather sucks. Priorities. But none of them react to the sound at all. Curiosity, guiding your steps, you follow the sound to the entrance of a dark, dingy alleyway. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes, you s makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. Meow. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is a cat. Yes, this cat. I don't trust it. Huh, guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. I'm not going to imitate the cat anymore. It's so cute, and it definitely knows it. You've never had much of an opinion one way or another about cats before. But if they're like, if they're all like this one, it's a shock. It's a shock they haven't found a way to rule the world. Yeah, it's a little. I mean, people always say it's like the cat picks their owner rather than the other way around. A cat just jumps on your lap and just starts being all affectionate. And then a human will be like, oh man, I can't move now. It's The cats, uh, they, they kind of mildly rule the world. Except for the people that just don't care about cats, per se. I don't really care about cats. I'm more of a dog person. Or a possum. Or a rat. I would like a little cute. The little cute rat for a pet, too. I'd prefer a pet rat over a pet cat, personally. I don't know. To each their own. You don't think you'd mind bowing down to a feline overlord? Barely disguised fetish? What's going on here? You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves cats in cardboard boxes these days, anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. Obviously. It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. As if waiting for you to make the next move. Hmm. Well, the game is called Don't Take the Cat Home. So we're going to uh, save like I would in the uh, 
the Scalies game that I haven't played for a while, and uh, do not take the cat home. What is with the sigh? You take a, a decisive step back. As cute as cute as the cat is, you really can't afford to be taken taking. You can't afford to be taking in a pet on whim. Rent's coming up soon, and your job doesn't exactly leave you rolling in dough. You give the cat a sad nod. Sorry, good luck out there, okay? <laughs> the cat's just like, oh, okay. You turn around and leave the cat in the alley behind. Sort of got the. If the cat follows me home, I'm rejecting it every time. Rain's picking up. I'm still hearing it. Time to head home. Ending? Question mark? Not a fool. I just get the ending by rejecting it first and foremost. Okay, so it wasn't following me, but the cat was just like... Oh, okay. Is it like... It's got like a, a curse seal. It cannot leave the box without you grabbing out of the box. Is that one of the things that's going to say? Also, wait. Wait, we're... There's no load button in the main menu? Well, that's kind of weird. Wait, this is save button. Save? His history? Pro main menu. Where's the fucking load button? Wait, there's quick load. There's auto, there's skip, there's history. Where the fuck's the load button? Where the fuck is the load button? If I hit the right click, there's only a save button! Okay, okay, what about quick save then? I'm only allowed quick saves? Is that it? Like, I have no other choice? Because if I do right click, it's only on the saves. My save's right there. I'll ask the developer, but I guess we'll have to keep going with a quick save and not look back. Maybe that's the intention. But one second. Alright, well, through the miracle of hitting the control button and speeding things up, we can just skip the supposed 32,000 words and reach back to where we are. I, I, I let the developer... I asked the developer in the comment section whether or not there's meant to be a loading or if it's just oversight and there is no loading. I'll get an answer, but I'll just keep going as is. So we'll take the cat home. You know what? Rent money, low income, ah hell, we'll take the cat. <laughs> Even if we come, become homeless afterwards, you reach into the box and pick up the cat, holding it out in front of you. Why not? You're all alone and, well, I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so... You bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then, but it slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. You think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow. But for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? Hmm. You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food, then head back home. You live in a modest apartment. One bedroom, one bathroom. One you living alone in it. So it feels weird having another living thing being inside it after so long, even if it is just a cat. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curiously explores the new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. You take out the can of cat food and open it with the tab on top. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. It perks up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food and completely ignores it. Not hungry, I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. I mean, just let it eat it later. It's not like it's a, it's a waste. It'll eat it when it's hungry, okay? It's just a cat, after all. I'll just leave it here if you get hungry later, okay? The cat rubs its body against your legs with a purr. You smile. That's enough of a thanks for you. It follows you into the kitchen as you start your own dinner. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread toasted. Mayo and mustard spread. Turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed. Tomato... How? You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing a tomato. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stupid. You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. <laughs> a tomato? 
How the fuck are you cutting tomato to cut your hand? Are you, are you doing one of those, like, knife sharp sharpness examples where you're slicing it with your hand barely on top? Like you're a sushi chef and you're cutting the skin off a salmon and you're filleting a salmon? What the hell is this person doing? He's cutting, like, BLT. Just, you cut downward. How do you cut yourself? Man. Confusing. You're about to head to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops up onto the counter. Better not start, like, licking the blood off or something and then you're just allowing it. It sniffs, it sniffs at the blood and meows almost pointedly at you. Eh, don't worry, I'm alright, it was just a... You watch as the cat starts to... Oh, lick lightly, but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. Okay, well, I mean, at least it's not on my hand, because that would, that would kind of annoy the fuck out of me. It's like, what are you doing, cat? As you're, like, leave your finger up to the cat's face and just, like, leave it there. I'm like, oh, look at the cat licking my blood. That, that'd, be, that'd be annoying, so thank God it's the knife. Or else I'd complain. <laughs> but your blood. You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. No. Oh. Okay. The cat sits back, staring at you. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird. Right? Sure, you're no cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do. I mean... I don't know if they shrink blood as a means of like if they're thirsty because i know there's like some humans where they're like you know if you're in the desert oasis you are parched as hell you drink your piss or you drink blood kind of thing and it's just like what your ancestors would have done if desperate if there's just no water supply kind of thing so do cats like a blood for a similar reason out of desperation i don't know i'm not a cat expert <laughs> right Meow. Well, regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat in need while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. I mean, the efforts of picking up the cat and buying cat food and cutting your finger on a tomato. It's a lot of effort. You were going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? Weird or not, it's just a cat. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Even after covering up, covering up your fingers cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at the wound. Is it a vampire cat? I mean, I'm gonna assume it's a demon or something. You know, it's possessed, it's demon, something cliche, but... Uh, while you're eating your sandwich. Yeah, I, I don't like animals on a couch or a table while I'm eating, but... While you're cleaning up the kitchen, while you're trying to watch TV, you gently push it away every time, but you're starting to get worried at the strange behavior. I'd find it annoying. I, I'd probably kick it out then. It's a cat. I'm not your food. Fuck off. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're food now? You're not sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. It's a baby cat. If it gets more aggressive, you kick it out. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. Oh, God. Come on, already. You shove it away a little more forcefully, this time out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner and into the hall. You sigh deeply. At this point, you're just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you in your sleep. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You can only hope... Beautiful. Sirens. You can only hope you don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out in the rain. You should do that. After finding the number of a local vet, you pick up your landline and... Of course, the cat turns off the power. The lights just went out? Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. You check your cell phone only to find it's out of bat. The cell phone's out of bat, out of batteries. I mean, I think what they mean is the battery's charge is gone, but they word it in a way that's like it takes AAA batteries, like a Xbox controller, right? Weird. Eh, it's just a little, a little, let's just a little gaff, whatever. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. The outing had been so spur of the moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Cliched. Goddamn. Writing. Did the rain stop? More sirens? Can people stop dying? <laughs> okay. But then, why did the power go out? You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. <laughs> the, 
The cat sits on top of your digital clock staring at you. It's saying kill... Uh... 666... Uh... One... 180? Is there a 420 mixed in there? I think it's just meant to say kill. But anyways, thinking now, you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but the numbers are lit up and going completely haywire. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You'd think it was a statue if you didn't know better. It's just a black cat. They do that. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not blinking. It's not even breathing. How the fuck would you know? It's eyes. This isn't normal. It's a, it's a black cat. Come on. <laughs> it, ignoring the blood tasting bit. Black cats are weird. We all know that. You're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight? You consider tossing the cat out after all. But as soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. Those eyes, its eyes hold you still, even with your flashlight trained on it. Its pupils are large, round inky pits. The flashlight flickers. And the cat is gone. Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence, punctuated with a rapid pumping of blood in your heart, is overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of static all around you. How is the clock working with no power? You don't know why such a question matters at the moment, but you feel as if the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. That order will be restored. Lord. <laughs> but no answer comes to mind. You back away from the clock, and feel as if the air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response, like a predator prepared to pounce, but waiting. Waiting for your next move. But you're afraid to move. You're afraid to even take a breath. But you can't stay still forever, right? Whatever is watching you, you can already feel its impatience. It's too eager. How do you feel that? You don't know how you know this, but you can sense it as clearly as if it had whispered? Let's play. Mm. Right into your ear. Right into your soul. It won't let you wait out and wait it out. Not that you could even if it did. Wait, what? It won't let you wait it out, not that you could, even if it did. Okay. You can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you, making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement, of action. But you're still weak from the fear's grip on your mind. Your legs tangled together under you in your haste, and you fall to the ground. Splat? A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot, pooling underneath it. You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles after skidding across the floor as if it had been kicked. Winded from your fall, you look up in a daze and see the object glinting in a strange light coming in from outside. The light pouring in from the now-open front door... Thoughts of how, of how, when, who, what in regards of, to your inexplicably open door screech to a halt as your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. It's your kitchen knife. It took a long time to say it's your kitchen knife. <laughs> and still tinted red from your earlier blunder? Well, no, no, it got let clean, so no. But that's not right. Wasn't it compl Yes, it was. You gulp dryly at the pain in your foot. You barely have any time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on, especially when the cat darted, grabbed it, put it back on the floor in a, in a sharp way when standing up. I mean, I, I, I've seen a knife stand in a way where it's just like the back end of the knife is standing on like the spine of the blade and the sharp end is sticking upwards. I've had that happen multiple fucking times and cut myself from that. If you ever have a knife that like... Sits on its sides only, mostly. But sometimes, man, if a knife can, like... I don't know, sit on its back, like I said. that That's scary. But instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you'd left it, when you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife... I mean, if it starts licking the blood, and this guy just runs and lets it lick the blood, and... Uh, it, spy, it spies right back at you. A pair of glowing golden eyes comes forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. It may f it pads lightly over the knife as if skipping into light. Kick it. It's my fucking blood. No, it's not cute. It's annoying. Kick it. And bends down to lap at the... It's my fucking blood. Ah, uh, 
Your senses slowly begin to overwhelm. Kick the cat. He's just gonna let this happen? Let this stupid little bitch of a cat do this to him? The chill of air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight, now piercing your skull, the dryness on your tongue spreading to your throat. Bruh. The incomprehensible sight of the stray you've taken in. The incomprehensible sight licking away at your kitchen knife. Once again, okay, okay, do something about it. The scent of blood from the fresh wound on your... Okay, I get it. Blood? Yeah, what, what, what confuses you about the blood? It's blood, yes. Golden eyes slide up to you as if in response to your sudden realization. Blood. What do you mean sudden realization? You're hurt. Your foot is bleeding. You're... I, like, are you just... They're just realizing it now? Okay. The, the cat barely moves, shoulders twitching, as if just considering the act of pouncing forward. It's a tiny cat. What do you mean, pouncing? You just gonna have just magical powers? Well, what powers, though? I mean, they need to know. But you're already on your feet and out of the door. You run a rather limp down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red. How can this last for two to three hours? If it's a cat that has you bleeding, is it just like you start to forgive and forget or something? But there's a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in white. The houses, the trees, the road, even you. Everything, except your blood. You can just barely glimpse the bloody imprints your injured foot leaves in your wake with every impact it makes with the ground. It hurts, it hurts. But you can't stop, and you don't stop. Not when the shadow grows, uh, shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running because... If that if that cat's right there ahead of you, then... What in the world is behind you? I'll try looking behind me then. Death? Oh, nothing interesting. How very, very interesting. Ending zero, it begins. I look behind me and I get an ending in immediately? But... The endings. Oh, well, it shows what endings I found. Okay, but... Ending zero, it begins complete. Something happened, you think, anyway. You can't really remember what. But I think I... Isn't this the second ending? Didn't the ending I get... Wait, wait. Wait, now the load... Wait, now... Oh, now the... The load appears after I got one of the endings? What? Weird. The question marks was the endings, rightfully so, but... Weird. I'm gonna assume it's a bug then, where it's should be there but isn't, but then shows up when I get one of the endings. Hmm, maybe. Alright, we'll keep running for now. Huh, interesting. Wait, did I pick the wrong thing? Wait. Keep running? What? You're walking... Wait, how did it continue button? Wait, you're walking right, of course. Wait, no. Wait. Wait. Let me see if it's a continuation rather than... I have to see if it's continuation. You're walking, right, of course. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. And you're actually glad that you did. The weather's absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. You tentatively allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Maybe even who you could meet. You're so deep in thought that you almost miss it. Huh, what was that? Curiosity guiding you... Let me... Is this the same or different? No. I think this is new. Let me... Like, my memories are, like, overlapping. It's like, wait, is this new? I don't remember it being morning, though. So let me actually read it. You tentatively allow yourself to feel excited at the possibilities where you could go, what you could do, maybe even who you could meet. What was that? Curiosity guiding your steps, you follow the sound at the entrance of a lonely alleyway. The sunlight only manages to reach down in between the tall buildings on either side. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward, the loose gravel and scattered debris on the ground softening your steps. 
Finally, the sound source comes into view in the warm, almost ethereal light of the alley. It's weird. Did the ending running or looking back, you get the same ending. It's like, here I thought it was a bug. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is a cat. Huh, guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. It puts its front paws up on the edge. That's the same. So, you look so... Familiar. Okay, I'm on the right path. Right? Meow. Then again, it is a cat. Not many different ways for a standard black cat to look, after all. Yeah, they look basically all the same. This one sure is a cutie, though. Just look. It's not glaring at you or hissing at you for getting this close like the other stray cats have in the past. I mean, it looks like it's kitten-sized, but... It's just sitting there patiently, waiting for you to do something. Well, then. We don't have much of a a choice, so we're just gonna keep overlapping. I guess one save. I don't. I don't need multiple saves. Uh, do not take the cat home. Sadly, as cute as the cat is, you'd never take this thing home with you. <laughs> you just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. You are, with rent and bills. Not to mention, you need to buy food to survive too. There's no way you could care for a cat long term, right? You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. What to do? Oh god. Um... You are not ready. Not ready for the question mark. Play the cat. Let's leave the cat. You don't think it's a good idea to get the cat's hopes up of having someone look after it if you're not willing to commit. What if it gets attached and somehow tracks you down back to your home? You'd never... <laughs> Wait. You'd never get away... <laughs> You'd never get away... <laughs> you never... Ah! From it, then. Sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up, the cat watching your every move. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. Don't give me that face! Meow, meow, meow. Three meows, even. Is it trying to argue with me? No! I don't care that you're giving me that face. Ignore. No. No, you need to nip this in the bud and get on with your day. It's what's best for the both of you. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dealing with your furry dilemma, you'd forgotten that you still hadn't checked on what you were going to do for your day off. Oh, damn. I actually ignored the cat. All right, um, uh, well... Hmm. Dog park! Hell yeah, let's find some dogs! You decide to take a stroll in the park or something. Oh. Only one with walking distance is the nearby dog park. You think it'll make you feel better. First you get to see a cute cat today, and now you'll see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. Oh, the park is bustling with owners and their canine companions. Playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. Such cuties. What do you mean, whatever? Like you'd want anything to do with these mangy mutts. Is the talk is the cat talking in my head? What's wrong? You didn't think that. Oh no, the cat's already fucked with my head. Why does the thing on the right look like an ostrich? You decide to move on. The dogs are all so adorable, you want to pet every single one of them. Uh every single one you come across. But you know, not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their... Well then don't manhandle their pets! There's a difference between handling and manhandling. Manhandling is extreme! Don't manhandle! Don't manhandle people's pets! Not all dogs appreciate it either. Exactly. So you stroll around the path trying to exude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies to you. You don't have to wait very long. My god, the music is just getting louder and louder. I don't trust this dog! Oh my god. My god, the music's getting ramped up. You stop as the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampers up to you, blocking your path. It looks like a beagle, and honestly, sorry, sorry, I hate beagles. I hate beagles. My childhood involves living in two different homes in two different goddamn areas with a fucking neighbor that has a beagle who would be left outside basically all day 
basically abused day and night rain or storm snow or blizzard this fucking beagle was outside howling and howling and howling like early morning i just hear it howl all the time my god i almost lost my sanity there i hate beagles as a result and it happened twice to me living next to a neighbor with a beagle that just howls and howls and howls and the dog owners don't let their fucking beagle inside they just let it outside so it can howl constantly so I have an innate hatred of beagles. I hate their noises. Holy shit. It's like, it's not even a barking noise. If you've never heard of a beagle, you are lucky. It is the most annoying fucking noise you've ever heard. In my personal opinion, let's just say, I don't know. But either way, Ugh. The cutest puppy. Holy shit, what? Okay, I mean, I hate beagles, but I'm not going to kill them. Or kick, or... Eat? The cat's messing with my head, apparently. Um, but I'm curious what would happen. I, I mean, I did save it, so we can see what happens. This music is very... Eat the puppy! That's disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick. There's no way I could ever do that. What? It's just a puppy. There's no way I would ever do that. No, that's horrible. There's no way I would ever do that. Okay, pick up the puppy. You pick up the puppy and... Wait, there's a timer! Ah! Terrified you dropped the puppy to the ground. Practically throwing it from you. You immediately feel horrible, winch wincing in, the gu in guilt at, at the tiny yelp it releases upon hitting the ground. The owner shoves you aside with a cutting glare and storms away with their puppy. I'm sorry. You call out, but they don't turn back or respond. Not that you expected them to. You deserved it. That was unusual, and that's actually mildly creepy. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Let me see that again. Hold on. You just barely managed to rein in the reflex to throw the puppy as far away from you as, <laughs> as possible. With shaking hands, you quickly place the puppy on the grass and take several jerky steps back. The owner seems confused by your reaction to their puppy. The owner seems... But you just wave at them in a daze before hastily stumbling away. You're not feeling so great about being at the park at the moment. I'm a little curious, and I think maybe this would lead to an ending, so... What if you stay at the park? You stay at the park. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often, one will run up to you. Oh god, and when they do, they look... Wrong. Their owners don't seem to notice. The cat's fucked with my head in more ways than one, okay? You find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. Maybe. This wasn't the best idea after all. Maybe. You should have stayed with me instead. Hmm? You're broken out of your thoughts when something lands gently on your lap. You look down and see a, a frisbee on your thighs. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw that back? You look up at a sea owner waving at you in the distance, but more importantly... Bork. Bork. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A series of excited barks jerks your gaze forward and you see a large dog sprinting towards you. It's gonna turn evil and it's a big German Shepherd, oh no. Uh-oh. Just smile dogs kind of images. A series of excited barks jerks your gaze and you see a large dog sprinting towards you. Hey, hurry and throw it back. Uh. Uh. Throw. You throw the frisbee and the dog runs in the opposite direction. Jumping and catching it right out of the air. Okay, what? Leave, 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 leave. What, what if I... Good, don't come back. No! Fuck you, cat! Throw it! I mean... Can I save it in such a... I mean, I... I, I hmm. Just, well, let's try to keep our sanity, but if I do anything that appe appe appeases a cat, I'm not gonna like it. I'll try to do everything that the cat doesn't want. I want, must resist the cat. You throw the frisbee and the dog, yeah. Impressive. The dog and the owner walk up to you. Thanks for that. You can pet him if you want. <laughs> the dog looks up to you, eager for its reward of pets and pets. For catching the frisbee. 
Should I? Yes! Pet! I don't care if the cat gets upset. Fuck you, stop being jealous! Really? Are you sure? I'm warning you. Do not touch that mutt, or you will regret it. Pet that dog! Like, what's the, the dog can't do anything. Dog's not evil. You reach out your hand. And you pet the dog. Orf. The dog seems pleased. It's just the cat that's evil. It's not the dog, man. It's just all in your head. You don't feel well. Suddenly, the sky begins to darken rapidly. You look up along with the, all the pet owners to see that the sun has been eclipsed by the moon in the blink of an eye. Did the cat just summon, like, the eclipse from the Berserk series? I'm having bad feelings about this. You vaguely remember that you should never look directly at an eclipse. Don't look at the eclipse like Donald Trump did. But for some reason, you don't look away. Roar! A loud piercing yowl fills the air, shaking the ground beneath you. You instinctively move to lift your hands in order to shield your ears, but... You... Turn him to goo! But the hand that has been cautiously pressed upon the dog's head comes away with some... Resistance. Resistance like sticky slime almost cementing your hand to the dog's head. The slime stretches with your movement. You. This isn't changed. The dog's head stretches with it, too. Ah, as the canine begins to just... Melt. It melts and melts. Huh. Until it becomes a pile of goo at your feet. Uh, you dazedly look around for the dog's owner only to find an empty pile of familiar clothes where they once stood. You see similar piles of clothes next to the piles of goo scattered all across the park's open field. All the dogs. All their owners. The melted goo of the dog in front of you then starts to move with a shudder. Yeah. The moon is like the eclipse is meant to represent the cat's eye. It slithers across the grass toward the field in the center of the park, all the other goo piles following after it. Okay. They mix and meld together until sing into a single entity that shifts and undulates and bulges and grows. You watch in dazed horror as it then fills out and shapes itself. It's just goddamn cat into a behemoth of a dog snarling and frothing at the mouth red eyes frantic and searching turned into a pit bull huh named precious before the glowing orbs land directly on you the rumbling growl admits is so low and deep you can feel the sound of it cla crash into you no i'm not gonna leave the park can you just sit here and see if anything happens no I wasn't expecting the timer to pop up. That's kind of unique at the very least with visual novels. Having a, a time-limited choice. It was interesting. Not to maybe keep my guard up. No, you had your chance. Better start running. Let's see, I was hoping it would lead to an ending or a dead end. Let's see. You try to run, but you're not fast enough. The behemoth barely takes a few leaps before it's already towering over you. It tears you apart until there's oh, nothing left. Ending 21, dog person. There we go. <laughs> hmm, well if I can continue. Okay, this is familiar because I can hit the control button. If, usually the, with visual novels, if you hit the control button and it doesn't speedily go fast, it means this is unique dialogue, is one thing I have to keep remembering too. Otherwise, I'll leave it there. We have a lot of saves we can use, like the dog. We can't stay at the park for long, but apparently we can push our luck until the very last moment we're not allowed to pet the German Shepherd. But I, there's so many possible endings, and it'd be really hard to figure out, but let's see. We got to 21. You had a plus day at the dog park. 21, like we skipped 21 endings just to reach this one. So I'm not sure what kind of order this is in, but... Oh, anyways, 
If you enjoyed and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll continue. It depends on demand. I'm fine trying new visual novels and maybe doing like scalies with angel, wait, angels with scaly wings and this and the other things I'm juggling, but we'll have to see on demand and people are into this or not. If you want to see how this continues, what happens to the cat, how does it all end? What are the other 39 endings or no, 38 endings or 37 plus one true ending, technically. If you are looking forward to that, let me know in the comments below. But again, like, comment, subscribe, and until the next time. Um.